Hey ghouls, welcome back to another video and today we are looking at a very interesting toy shop or technically two toy shops that I found whilst on holiday in Benidorm last year. Now basically, um, first of all, as you can see in the video, I came across some Katrina's Underworld dolls in here which I've been looking for for so long. It's been such a pain trying to find them and I'm just going to record my time going through these. So. Uh, first of all, I'm coming across these uh, Barbies from about 2015, 2016-ish because I'm looking at the National Geographic collaboration dolls um, that I found on the shelves. And um, I'm gonna, in a second, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a while, so I'm just trying to watch through and voice over at the same time. I come across some of the older, um, what's it called? The older fashionista barbies and here i also found the newer down syndrome barbie that they did for the fashionista line i was so excited to find her because i've been looking for her for ages and i was like oh my god here she is so yeah i kept looking at the fashionistas ignore the other hand that's my mother um and i was just trying to discreetly record this because i don't want to make anyone uncomfortable and here i found the perfect day barbie from the Barbie movie and some more of the fashionistas uh, which was very nice it's good to know that <laughs> there's technically still a market for those uh, then I saw some monster titles for generation 3 which is a big deal because I saw them previously and then they've been around for ages but I did find the Bratz Kylie Jenner collaboration dolls which was something I was shocked because I haven't even seen them in the UK yet so obviously I did find some Rainbow and Shadow High and I did find Chanel Onyx. Now she's a bit pricey for me, I wanted to get her for a bit cheaper because I've still been looking for her. So I did leave her, I was going to get her but I didn't. And there were all the new Series 3 Shadow High, some of the Pacific Coast dolls, um, some, um, a few Disney dolls. Uh, from Wish, the new film that came out last year, Encanto, and the live action Little Mermaid doll, which I think is so gorgeous. I was telling my mother that in the clip. Um, I found some Evie Love, which is like, I think the Steffi Love sibling dolls. They're so cute. And I found some Mermaid's Mermaid dolls. And obviously they were gorgeous. I didn't get any though. Uh, here, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I think this is Shimmer and Shine, yes it is. It's a Shimmer and Shine toy. Not too sure when, I can't tell from the video itself, but I was very pleased to find it because in my head as I was going through this, it started clocking that some of these lines are very old and they aren't on the shelves anymore. So I found these VIP pets. They are very recent, they're the late 10s. I have one in my room myself. Some of the horror, terrifying Unique Eyes dolls. Um, I, I'm scared of those. They freak me out. Um, got some Nancy dolls, which I think are pretty common in Spain. Um, they are really cute. I would have got myself one, but they were fairly pricey regarding the ones I wanted. So I left them. Um, and here I'm just looking at the different ones that are available because I thought they were really sweet. Um, I, you'll see I keep dipping my camera to not get anyone in frame or censoring them with a skill at it. I was like, I don't want to get anyone in the camera. But here I found some enchantables and I was really pleased because as I was going through these, I saw behind the rabbit one, I <laughs> give it a second, but I found my childhood enchantable. Um, who is Felicity Fox there? I was so happy, I was like, oh my god, I've seen you before. I still have her, I'm not too sure where she is though. As I kept going back, I went back into the doll aisle and my mother showed me the Barbie pop reveal dolls that came out last year. Uh, I already knew of those, but she didn't and I was happy to see her involved in the doll thingy. <laughs> I kept going. I looked at everything again because why not? I literally walked around the shop like 50 times just looking at everything. There were um, looking at more of the fashionistas which I was pretty impressed by because I was telling her about the history of the fashionistas etc etc. It was very interesting for me. <laughs> you see the little bluey figures as well. 
and like blurry but they're pretty common in the uk so it wasn't a big work for me here's me just poking around other things i came across this gorgeous little rag doll the flip z uh rag doll plush and she's really cute i didn't get her because i wasn't a huge fan of the whole design the print looked a bit odd but i she was cute i'm not complaining oh then we came across these um i had these in childhood the um penny palm dolls you know the ones where you could rotate the head and they have like little facial expressions underneath they were so cute and i was so happy to find these because they seem to be really popular in spain so <laughs> i was very happy i came across the uh, terrific halloween ones with like little ghouls and ghosts and stuff and it was like so cute they were adorable i would have got them but i don't have the space for a play set so i didn't get them obviously <laughs> um looking at other wee interesting things now some of these aren't exactly the lines i'm aware of like the beasties line i wasn't aware of until i saw them in the shop I haven't, I'm yet to look into them really, but I thought they were really cute. Um, just baby dolls, baby dolls, all baby dolls. <laughs> um, oh, not very much in this aisle, it was board games and baby dolls. So like the bar was pretty low. I went back to the Enchanted Malls and I walked past the Penny Pond section again. Here us the Nancy dolls from earlier and we are just looking again because you never know what you might find if you look twice so I go through all of this and I walk past the prams keep going and I come across some stationery which I thought was really cute um, and here's one I'm showing me the um, Shadow High Rainbow Vision dolls that were actually really cheap I was tempted to get one to be fair um, I talked myself out of it because I was being really stingy because you never know what you might find in another shop. If they're there when I go back this year, I'll get one because I thought they were so cute. I'm so happy that they still have them. Um, so my mum was very excited to be looking at these ones. And then I went through to find these um, Teenage Vampire series merchandise thingies. Wasn't too sure, I haven't looked into this, I'm assuming it's a Spanish series. So, now I explain why I don't know what it is. Um, from what I could tell, the merchandise looked really cool though. I mean, didn't look bad, did it? Um, we go down this aisle, there are some, um, a few bits and bobs. Some Disney villains dolls, and Snapstar dolls, which, they looked a bit uncanny, but the art was absolutely gorgeous on the box. It gives you a little sneak peek there, but um, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It really, the doll really does not do the box art justice. No offense to the doll or any of the designers, it's just my personal opinion. Um, I was looking for other ones, but that was the only one that I could find. So I left it at that and kept looking. So there were some bell, belly bonnie um, dolls. Again, the dolls were really cute, but the art was just so gorgeous. Oh my god. Um, why do so many dolls have such gorgeous box art? Then there's some Nana Na teens, which are a bit meh. I don't know. I've never really physically looked at one of the dolls. They're just meh. And here are some Sylvanian families. They were really cute. Um, I don't collect them. They're not my thing, but they're sweet. And the prices were a little bit insane, just a little bit, because I remember these boxes being like £10 when I was a child. Um, crazy how prices jump, right? So we're going to like the children's toys bit. Um, not much to really see there, because it's just kids' toys. And then we look down, and there's some suitcases. This is amazing because there were some Generation 3 Monster High suitcases and I was overjoyed. I wanted them so badly that they were 60 something euro and I don't have that kind of money for a suitcase right now. I might if I go back, but you never know what I might spend. So you never know what might be there. They're cute, but yeah. What? So I was looking at them and I was just showing my mum 
and I was just peeking around really just a ton more board games um some bags some scooters some bikes um and she can see she's quite interested in the things and sorry my hand keeps going in front of the camera in this bit uh, my phone was really like threatening to plummet to its death out of my hands and I was like no please don't do this to me I'm going through the bags again because you never know what you might find <laughs> and some frozen merch some Gabby's dollhouse that's what she's called, Clap Gabby's Playhouse? Not too sure. So you go to the little stationery bits, you see a Nana Nana surprise pencil case. But that's not the most interesting part, which I did not actually come across until I was physically shown it. So I keep going through all of these, and after a while it gets a bit boring because I don't collect pencil cases, I don't really use pencil cases. I use a Hannah Montana purse for my pencil case at college. So, <laughs> yeah. I keep going through. And sorry if I'm like whispering or if it's too quiet, that's because it's nearly two in the morning. I'm trying to be quiet and I'm also a little bit tired. But anyway, I keep going through um, these little robotic animals. They aren't bad, they're a bit creepy, but they're cute. Oh. Keep walking through. We come up to Playmobil, which is not something I normally come across or look at. It kind of in two different sections when it comes to Smith toys, so I don't really. Pl but actually, there were Lego Friends. I'll give them that. The new Lego Friends, though. I was a bit disappointed because considering some of the older stock they had in this shop, I was hoping to see some older Lego Friends, but I'm fine. I'm not complaining. It could be worse. And I was looking at some really cute Playmobil sets. I've never personally owned Playmobil. I have Mega Box and I have Lego. Uh, not Playmobil, which is weird for some reason. Um, the aisle connected to that did have Funko Pops. I didn't go in there because I felt kind of guilty about recording. So, yeah, just... You know, just imagine a whole aisle filled with Funko Pops. That's what it was. It was like wall to wall. It was crazy. So here we have some LOL dolls that are kind of out of frame because I cannot hold the camera properly. And then we have... When that there you go you can see it now <laughs> we go back there are some really cute omg fifth dolls she was cute i really want this doll because i love her clothes but her hair is so like greeny yellow it puts me off if that makes sense it's a bit meh and i don't like meh when it comes to dolls i like it when it actually loves the dolls so I, s I looked up here now and i see some sailor moon mug gift sets and i was like oh that's so cute I don't like Sailor Moon, I've never really watched it, but I thought the mugs were cute, and that's all that matters to me. So we look around a wee bit, and we look up, and there's some Care Bears on the TY shelf. And, ooh, Care Bears aren't a huge whoop to find, but anyway, this, this is a Monster High art supplies set. And afterwards we pop it back, and yeah. So here are some Monster High kids costumes in the same shop, and I was like, wow, this is crazy. And out of frame, there are also some Barbie movie dolls. That was really cool. On to the next shop. So, in the next shop now, um, we go to the dolls first. I can't name all of these dolls. I can't read for one and I can't remember for two. So we've got some really cute dolls. I thought they were sweet. I didn't like how big the heads were and how the lips were kind of like puckered. But they were really cute. <laughs> the presentation in the box was really stupid though. But cute other than that. Um, yeah. We go into a bit of a toy section and we look up in 54321 or not. No, there we go. We look up and there's some magic mixies and then there's Katrina's Underworld, which there were some more of them. So I was like, oh my god, yay, maybe it's the one I'm looking for. It was not, spoiler alert. I'm never gonna find her, I swear. But um, they were really sweet. Really gorgeous dolls. So sweet, so cute. There's some Encanto dolls there and some Frozen ones. Tossies, as per usual. Um, some more of the Pinny Pong dolls. Um, not as much variety, but a fair amount of the same things. Um, some more Nancy dolls. The white snow one, you can see at the bottom in the middle, 
was the one I desperately wanted, but she was like really expensive and I that her 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 I really wanted her, but she was fairly expensive, she was like 40 something euro. And I uh, didn't feel like spending that much at that moment. And my mum is showing me the Mermaid's colour change dolls <laughs> for 73 euros. And she was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And there's some Barbies, okay? So we have some of the older fashion Easter Barbies, which was really cool to find. Good to know that two different shops have them. Is this a common thing in Spanish toy shops? I'm not personally too sure. I didn't record the third toy shop I went to the day before. So yeah, we have the entire series one Shadow High on the bottom shelf. We have some Generation 3 Monster High, which is mainly Claudine, Laguna and Cleo. Some more unique eyes dolls, which I don't like much. <laughs> some more of the old oh, capsule chi um, chick dolls, which I think are really cute. Um, however, the actual dolls look a bit strange to me, so I never actually got them, although the box art is really adorable. We have some of the junior, we have some of the actual um, devious twin dolls, which I think is really cute because I can't find them in the UK. So, yeah, but I prefer the junior high ones anyway. Whatever. <laughs> so we look at the Disney dolls. Uh, not much, really. Just uh, the same thing, typically. Um, keep walking and there's some um, dolls, more fashionistas, <laughs> um, which is really cool, some Barbies, some Barbie extras, some more fashionistas, her, we have her in my place of work, she's really cute, um, some TY toys, some Steffi Love swap dolls. Steffi Love's really cute. I don't have any of her dolls, which is a shock to me for some reason. But anyway, um, some more Monster High merchandise, which I should have gotten because I love the original G3 art style and I love how cute it all was. Some Nana Nana surprise bags, as you can see. Um, we keep going. Um, we keep going. Then I noticed some really interesting things. This um, Equestria Girls display um, bit. I really wanted to take this home with me because of how cute it was and I really love the old merchandise. And here's why I'm showing me the Barbie Extra Fly um, dolls. They're so cute. So I look up past the Tell High and I see some inside out merchandise, which was really weird, which clocked it as another dead stock shop. I was impressed to say the least. <laughs> um, we go down this side, which is just some like Playmobil building stuff it was a bit meh because it's not my thing it's all blue i like pink oh but we keep going ignore all of the weird noises i found some palace pets which was like wow she's a bell's palace pet no rapunzel i'm not too sure I so i'm sorry I was never really a hardcore Palace Pets fan. I had a couple of the toys, but other than that, it was a bit. I didn't know anything. I'm not a genius. Um, there was some Santoro London dolls, which is the one I'm just about to hold up the plush doll. She was cute, but I didn't like how lumpy she looked, so I put her back down. Um, I thought it was really cool so far seeing all of this cute stuff. So, we keep going. And uh, we keep walking. And there's not much to say when I'm walking because it's like there's nothing to comment on. Um, some cute Mimi dolls. Some more like art supplies, some puzzles, some LOL puzzles. Um, come on. Keep walking, bro. Some Play Doh. That's nothing really interesting, interesting, but it's Play Doh. Some more videos of the Equestria Girls display unit. Um, uh, here I am fleeing the aisle because I know there's nothing in here really. But there's that vampire merchandise again, which I thought was cute. And some, mm, some little craft things. I'm not too sure. There's some aqua beads, the Disney Princess aqua beads. We all remember what aqua beads are, right? 
so cute, adorable, amazing, fantastic, show-stopping, whatever you want me to say. <laughs> so cute. Um, keep looking, and here's just me admiring the concept of aqua beads, even though I know what they are. Um, we pop them back down. We look again at the ball games, and then we look at the squishmallows. Briefly, before I ignore them again, there's some Sylvania family boxes, which was cool because two shops in a row have Sylvania families. And I just give the squishmallows a brief glance. Oh, and there's some kids walkie talkies. Or talkie walkies, I don't know. A TY stand with some Disney plushies on, like The Lion King, Donald Duck, Lady and the Tramp. I was gonna get this for my friend. But later I find something even more interesting for them. So I keep looking at this lady because I'm thinking, should I get this for my friend? And I decide not to because, yeah, because you can get lady flushes anywhere. But what I found next was like oh, amazing. So I'm looking at these plushes and I notice a Wish fabric doll from the new film. She's cute. Not my personal thing, but she's cute. And I'm looking at these dolls and the Enchantables, and then I see Littlest Pet Shop. The, one of the newer gens, I'll admit. But I was impressed, just to say the least, because the figurine in this playset is adorable, and I really want to get it just for the figurine, but I know that I, one, don't really collect LPS, and I also don't um, have the space for a playset. So I was looking at all these cute little figures. I can't remember what they're called, because I have the memory of a walnut but there was some adopt me merchandise from the roblox games some vip dolls fair from the vip of pets line i have some of those doll toys as i said earlier they are really cute to be honest some of these recordings i was literally just taking to keep track of the dolls so i could sorry figure out to get next there's some trolls i forgot their names Satin, in, satin and chenille and there's some um, kooky look dolls which I thought were really cute because I've always admired how sweet they are and cute looking because I'm brilliant and some more trolls dolls some of the creepy baby dolls that exist in this world I keep looking because yeah some toy irons then I found some vampirina plushies I haven't watched vampirina much I never really watched it growing up but I did watch a few episodes and that is really cute. So then we go around this plush stand again and I'm looking at the Disney toys again because yeah. Pluto showing up some TY toys, obviously. Now I'm looking around and I see just action toys. My mum was somehow very interested with these. I think they were Among Us, yeah. She was enthralled by the Minecraft and Among Us because that's something that she had to deal with a ton in her primary school. Um, so we keep walking. We are nearing the front of the shop, as you can see. There's some um, Funko Pops, just a few of them though. Some makeup? Question mark? I think it was makeup. Yeah, like hairbrushes and lip balm and bed sets. Um, pretty cute. I love the packaging, but other than that, it was um, a bit boring, to be fair. So, we keep looking at the Funko Pops. Um, not much to be desired. We look at some of the like top model drawing thingies, and then I notice something from this wall of Funko Pops. Is that they have something very interesting. A President Barbie from the Barbie movie. When I pull it off of the wall, that is. I was really intrigued by this. I'm getting it now, I just have a really bad grip. Give it a hot second. There she is. Isn't she cute? With President Barbie. But I didn't get her because I don't collect Bonker Pops really. I have two, three maybe. And um, that's it. So I keep looking at these figurines. And I keep going. And going really. And then I'm just looking around, minding my own business, really. There's some animal figurines, but they're always there somehow. They're cute though. Ignore the woman in the background, I didn't get her face on camera. 
looking at the backpacks um, yeah really and then we move to this this furby mug is something that i found and i did pick up for my friend and these gremlin mugs but i did not get that for my friend i only got the furby mug because i thought it was really cute because like that's an old mug god so here's up another shop there's some figurines in the window you see those santoro santoro figurines there santoro london figurines i did get those now we're looking at the front and there is um not only things like this pokemon there is funko pops a lot of them bike helmets things like that but that's really it to be fair anyway that comes to the end of the video this was a really interesting shop to be looking into and thank you for all watching it with me i really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to <coughs> see all of this so thank you all like genuinely i really appreciate you all watching my videos I, I, it's, it's just great knowing that some people actually watch the sh things i produce anyway thank you all so 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 much for watching i genuinely appreciate it and i hope you all have a great rest, rest of your day so yeah bye